coming. Hey everyone, Faye here from Clockwork Photo Duo. We are getting ready to go shoot an engagement today. It's going to be so much fun. We have two locations. We're going to shoot in the city, um, in downtown LA, and then we're going to go shoot in a more like scenic outdoor setting in the evening during golden hour. So here's my goal. We're both going to shoot together. We just noticed we're actually matching. <laughs> yeah, not a coincidence. Fate. <laughs> Just a little tip, I always bring a hat because if we're shooting outdoor, it could get really hot and my scalp just hurts. And just a plain t-shirt, something easy to move around in. Um, I'm wearing denim and I'm wearing sneakers just because we're gonna be walking around a lot. All right, let's go. Setting up the reflector. So we're shooting in natural lighting, so you want to make sure you have a reflector. Fortunately, Michael and I always shoot together, so when one person shoots, the other person can be holding the reflector. We're at the location. We're just gonna scope out the spot. Just plan to get to the shoot around 15 minutes early before your clients do. 15 minutes early or more. Or more, yes. We're gonna test out the lighting and stuff now. So our couple has arrived. We're super excited. The first outfit is a classy, sophisticated date night in the city look. The first shots I wanna go for would be the more close-up intimate shots. I find that this helps our couple warm up to the shoot because they get to just be sweet to each other and that helps them loosen up and stop thinking about me being there with a camera. So as we get some shots, make sure you always pay attention to the details. Things like hair in the face or collar that might be folded up, things that you might not want to or not be able to fix in post. Maybe move your hair to the other side. A little trick I like using that gets super cute photos of the couple is asking them to whisper sweet nothings or just anything funny to each other to get the genuine little giggles and smiles and laughs. What do you want to tell her? Whisper something. Something funny. Here we go. First few shots of the day. I think we're off to a good start. Now that we've got some close shots, I really want to get a wider shot of the couple. Something where we can see the view of downtown LA using that as a backdrop. I also want to showcase their outfit. They're both wearing something really nice, and this is the opportunity to get some full-length shots of them. Especially with Ashley's flowy dress, I'm aiming to capture some movement there for sure. So for these wider shots, I'm going to have to move further into the road. And of course, I did it safely with Faye looking out for me. Car coming! Here are the shots. I also got them to dance to really get that movement in there. We just finished at the first location. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel um, running to the middle of the road? Oh, fine. I'm used to dodging cars every day. Mm. All right, we're going to our second location now. We're going to shoot downtown. See you guys there. And here we are, right in the middle of downtown LA. We had an idea of having the couple do a dip right in the middle of the road, but that requires some practice because we only have the duration of time in which the traffic light turns red to shoot. So we had them rehearse on the sidewalk first before going out in the middle of the road for the shots. That's perfect. Yeah, that's great. And here I am again in the middle of the road. We even got extra love from the pedestrians too. These shots turned out to be some of our favorites from the entire shoot. I captured a few asking her to look into the camera at him and to go in for the kiss. I also want to make sure I capture a landscape version of the shot and not just a portrait. Finally, we got to our last location. We got a little adventurous here. I spotted a really awesome structure I wanted to try out. So for that, we had to do a little bit of climbing. I always want to make sure that in a scenic setting like this, I try to get a really wide shot. Don't be fooled by your viewfinder, thinking that they're going to look tiny or too small in the frame. I actually ended up really liking the wide shot on the left, but for safety, I also got a medium wide shot as you can see on the right. And as Michael mentioned before, I got a medium landscape shot as well. For these golden hour shots, I'm going for the sentimental eye gazing moments. You're just looking at him, Ashley. He's amazing. How did you find this guy? <laughs> I like the Craigslist dance. <laughs> 
For these shots, I wanted to capture something from his point of view, then from her point of view, then from a third person point of view. Treat it like a story being told by the different characters and you're the narrator. Also, compositionally, don't be afraid to use your surroundings as the foreground as well, not just the background. In this picture here, I've incorporated the nearby flowers into the foreground to add a bit of texture and also to add light onto Philip, who otherwise would just be in the shadow from the backlighting. Here we are at the end of the shoot. I really want to showcase the golden view of downtown LA one last time. For that, I gotta make sure that I'm high up enough to be able to capture the cityscape in the frame. So I climbed this structure and made sure that I'm stable and locked in while I'm shooting. I had the couple try switching out of their left right positions. But also, as a tip on composition, you want to try centering them as you can see on the first two shots here but also get them a little off-centered as well, as you can see on the shot on the far right. We just wrapped the shoot. Michael's drinking kombucha now. And we are headed to have some food. And um, it's a wrap, guys. See you next time. Um, be sure to subscribe to our channel, let us know your thoughts, and we love you. Bye.